Good evening, church. It feels so good to be here in the building. It makes me feel like I'm getting ready to go to church. And I know we're not. I sure miss everyone. And today's devotional, I chose it out of 1 Kings 17, verses 1 through 16. The prophet Elijah was drinking from a brook that ran dry because there was no rain. In verse 9, I'm jumping down to verse 9, it says, The word came, Arise, go to Zarephath. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. When he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her, Bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was doing it, he said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. Verse 12 says, As the Lord your God lives, I have not a loaf of bread baked or a ham. All I have is a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a bottle. I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and bake it for me and my son that we may eat and die. Elijah said to her, Fear not, go and do as you have said. But make me a little cake first and bring it to me and afterwards prepare some for you and your son. For thus saith the Lord of Israel, the jar of meal shall not waste away or the bottle of oil fail until the day that the Lord sends the rain on the earth. She did as Elijah said, and she and her household ate for many days. The jar of meal was not spent, nor was the bottle of oil failing according to the word which the Lord spoke through Elijah. I want to comment, make a few comments on this devotional. The prophet said to her, bring me a morsel. This was a big test for her. And you may ask me why, if you've not read this story. It's because first of all, you notice that she was a poor widow. She was a poor widow and she was gathering with her little sticks, making her last meal to eat for her and her son and then planning to die. And the Lord sent a prophet. And I believe here what God is showing us that he is the great El Roy. He is the God who sees. He already had a plan for her, but this was her test. And she, and the Bible says she did as he asked and she passed her test. And as a mother, this really touches my heart when I was studying this this week. It touches my heart because as a mom, what you want to do is you want to provide for your children. You want to protect your children. And I can't even imagine she's out there gathering her sticks to make her last meal for her and her son and planning to die. And she gives it up. But that's just like our God. His ways are not our ways. Maybe like this widow, you might only have a little bit of meal or a jar or oil in a jar, but she gave it all up. She trusted her Lord and in faith and obedience, and she used all she had in her hands. Then God supernaturally blessed her because it's not by might and it's not by spirit, but it's by my, but it's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. You might be tempted to say, if only I had the gift of miracles or prophecy or preaching, then I could do these great, amazing things. But the truth is God could have done it all by himself or he could have sent angels or a miracle. But God so wants us to partner with him to fulfill his plans here on earth. So I'm asking you, what is in your hands? Early in March, when all the news broke out about the coronavirus, I remember running up, actually going quickly to Walmart, and I remember buying fabric and elastic and thread, and I was making these masks. I almost have to show you, they're so ugly. But it made me feel so good as a mother that I could do something, because with each one, I was praying and stitching, praying and stitching that God would bless everyone who wore them. And that very week, little did I know, uh, Sister Audrey would call from Mercy Hospital and say, you know what, we need to make a lot of masks for our employees. And then I got another uh, Facebook request from my nephew and saying, does anybody out there know how to make masks? And I had this one, it was ugly, and I'm like, they can't use this one. So I, we went and we got patterns, and thank God they came up a lot nicer. 
but it's not the mass. We do our part. And I remember praying and stitching, and I was praying that God would protect everyone that wears these. So I'm asking you, what do you have in your hands? I like what a pastor posted on Facebook. He said, are you coming back to a church that's only going to reopen its doors? Or are you coming back to a church that's going to relaunch? Two things I want to say. I believe that Thrive Church is a relaunching church. And as my son always says, two things. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. I know many of you are not going to have your normal Mother's Day celebration, but I wish you a happy Mother's Day from the bottom of my heart. I pray that God just breathe amazing blessings on you. And also, I really want to pray for all the people out there, my sisters and brothers who have lost their mama, that she won't be there at their table this year. I want to pray a special blessing that God will comfort you as only he can. And with that, I want to say, I hope you tune in for us this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. and at 5 p.m. Thank you. God bless you. I love you so much. Bye-bye.